get your handy wipes ready. We're going to need it for this one. We're getting messy today. Welcome to the craft table. I hope you're ready to get messy, sticky, gooey, that kind of messy. We're going to be playing with Mod Podge today. This is a requested tutorial. A while back, one of my viewers asked if I could do a decoupage using the, the Dollar Tree napkins. And sure. And today, it's kind of cloudy and rainy out where I am. And I thought, well, this would be a perfect day to sit down and get sticky, icky, and gooey. So, let me show you what you're going to need, okay? This is what you're going to need. Right off the bat, Mod Podge. Doesn't matter. I use the mat. Doesn't matter if it's the mat. Semi gloss, glossy Mod Podge. This makes your napkins stick to your jars. And of course, you're going to need your jars or whatever you want to decoupage. You can decoupage on anything, trust me. But I have an old uh, mustard jar and a pickle jar. You're going to need some water um, for your brush and water to mix with your Mod Podge. And I've got a couple little plastic cups here so I can pour some Mod Podge and a little bit of water in and use that. Your brushes. You're going to need a flat edge so you can brush an area nice and flat and you're going to be using thin amounts. So, um, this part is actually optional. Paint, sponges, or brush, and something to put the paint on. If you want an iridescent or see through transparent look, you will not be painting your jar first. If you want to be able to see the napkin more plainly, you're going to be painting your jar first. That is totally up to you. I'm going to be painting my jars. And, of course, you're going to need your napkins. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. And I have picked out uh, butterflies and flowers. They seem to go together very well. I also am going to be using this little brush, and this is more for um, helping me tear out the images that I want. I'll show you that little trick before we get started. And of course you can cut them out. You're going to need your scissors anyway to cut out the sizes and shapes. You're going to need, you definitely are going to need your handy wipes because your fingers are going to get so sticky there's no way to keep them out of there so handy wipes or wet paper towel or uh, washcloth something wet to wipe your fingers on and you're going to need something to protect your workspace and trust me you're going to need it you don't want to be cleaning this and sticking your elbow in sticky stuff from now on so I'm going to be laying out paper dolls so I can just wad them up and toss them out. So now we know what we need. Let's get to work.
into their jars and they don't have to be perfect unless you only plan on putting little pieces on but I am going to cover my jar with the napkin so nothing has to be perfect these are the this is the easy way And, like I said, you do the tops also, especially this blue one. I'll probably have to go back and, um, after it dries completely, and do another coat because it was blue, the white one. Not so much. So, let's work with the napkins now, okay? Alright, so now that our jars and lids are all painted, and we're waiting for them to dry, we're going to start working on our napkins. And first thing you're going to do is basically just cut them um, into pieces that you need. You don't want to use um, the whole thing. You won't need it. And you don't want to waste any. So, these are the big ones. I'm going to literally cut this one right in half and I'm going to put this aside so it doesn't get ruined and that way I have a whole nother jar I can do and then I'm going to, uh, all napkins have what they call plies. The Dollar Tree napkins usually only have um, one. You can see the back is white, the front has the pattern. And if you wet your fingers and pull apart like this, You can pull the ply, or the backing, right off really easy, just like that. See, now you have the pictures that you want. I would save these. You might want um, just plain white someday. You can always use the same with this one. I'm going to cut it in half put this aside Wet the tips of my fingers, squeeze and pull. There we go. And that is what I'm going to be using. Now, this is where your choices come in. You can leave them solid and just put them on like this. If you want just like certain pictures, you can use your scissors to cut them out or the little trick that I've learned, and I like it better because it leaves a uh, tattered edge which seems to lay flatter. Basically you just water around it, take your little brush, make the edge of what you want wet. And just rip it. And yes, you do have to be a little gentle. These are very thin, very, very thin napkins. And they rip very easily. But there you go. You have like the picture you want. And you can pick any, any of them.
give it a little tug. There. The same with the big ones. If you only want certain flowers, say this pink one right here, just wet around it. Give it a little tug. And there you have it. Or, like I said, you can use your little scissors and you can cut any way you like. This is one of those things, whatever is easier for you. Or you can use the whole thing as a background. So, there. I have showed you how I do it. i uh, given you options. So now, we're going to start getting messy because we're going to take these and we're going to put them on these. So let's get to work.
and there we have them. Simple, easy, couple napkins, some Mod Podge, and I did put two coats. I touched up the paint on the bottom of this one and around the edge. This one didn't really need any touch up. And I put the two coats of Mod Podge on the top to make it nice and uh, stiff. Also, uh, if you're going to leave the, them like this, I would put a clear coat um, sealer just because it is paper and will get handled a lot easy enough. Do not soak these. Do not put them in your dishwasher. Um, if you if they need to be wiped off, just a very um, lightly damp cloth and dusted mostly. Uh, and you can leave them just like this or uh, you can add to them. Um, let's see. Butterfly. You could stick uh, a butterfly here. Here. You could take a um, drawer pull, stick it on top, glue it on top. Take some twine. And you know me and my twine. Wrap it around a couple times. Tie a little knot. Add a little bit of rustic look to it. Just like that. Take leftovers. Stick it on top. Little toys that your kids no longer play with. Stick them on top. Add uh, your bling to the sides. Take stickers with your initials. So much you can do. Take a candle. This one's brand new. Should work, hopefully. Yep, see? Drop that in. Little tea light holder. Just all kinds of things. Leftover artificial flowers. Stuck here, there, anywhere. Use your imagination. I can just, I can show you how, but you use your imagination to make them your own. So I hope you really enjoyed this, and I hope that you have a great week. And if you did like these, don't forget, hit the subscribe. I'm trying, if you notice, to get back into a nice little... Uh, work week and if you liked it hit the thumbs up if you didn't like it you can hit the thumbs down but always leave me a comment tell me what I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing right I really appreciate those I, I love to hear from you I like knowing that I'm not talking to myself all the time and for those of you that come and leave me a comment every time I so thank you you are just wonderful people. So, you have a great week, and I promise I will see you soon. Bye-bye now.